YouTube, what's good people, what's going on, how is everybody doing, how everybody doing out there, I guess you guys are having a wonderful weekend, and I guess that you are using this weekend to prepare yourselves for the next trading week, this is your boy Harlem, and I'm back with another video, today's video is going to be our trading outlook for the coming week of the 24th of July, I've been until the 28th of July, you're going to be looking for potential market direction, but you just let you all know that this week we might have like too many um prayers, which we don't have to break down because I don't clearly see what's happening. So with less confusion from me and less confusion to you guys, I will just move without explaining what I have to explain. But if I see something, I will share it so you guys can understand and take something from it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and turn on the notifications so you can get notified every time I upload new videos. And don't forget to use the links on my description to sign up with the broker that I use, Quick Trade. So... When you now look at the structure of the NAS, you guys can clearly see that current price were up bearish, right? You can clearly, you guys clearly remember that for the coming week that we did say that, okay, we're looking for price to create some sort of what, some sort of um a higher low to continue bullish. And you can clearly see that price has been breaking highs, creating higher highs. With that being said, when you look at the lower highs that price has been creating, Price has been kind of like breaking below the low, higher lows, I mean. With that being said, I don't have a trade idea because how is price moving or what is happening at the current moment? I don't want to confuse you guys. Oh, I'm not happy about it. But all I'm looking for is that you guys remember that we had this resistance that price kind of like broke above from the daily and the weekly. With that being said, we're still looking for price to come back for a retest and look for continuation to the upside. But if price breaks below, then I look forward for price to continue moving to the downside. Right. But I don't have a trade idea. So on the NAS, we move. So looking at gold, same thing as gold. You guys remember that on gold, we did say from our account, uh, from our outlook that price is kind of like in a correction. We're simply looking for a bullish or bearish breakout. And price had a what? A bullish break above of the far zones, breaking the highs and breaking the intraday resistance. But looking at current price, price kind of like did what? Broke below. Price kind of like moved to the downside or traded bearish. And what makes me not have a trade idea is that you can clearly see that price was in a correction, right? And we had a bullish breakout one. But when you look at this price broke below and is trading below our what our resistance or as our price is trading in our correction. So I don't have a trade idea because I'm not happy with what is currently happening on gold. I don't know if price will continue bullish or if price will just reverse and be bearish. Do you understand me? Looking at German 30. German 30 also won't see much because you guys remember from the coming week, from the previous week, we did say that because now price is kind of like doing what? Reacting off of our um, it's kind of like reacting off of our um um previous um current market price highs. You are get me, guys. Now all we're looking for for the coming week on our trade idea is to be bullish above resistance, our major resistance, or be bearish at our fall to break. Because you guys can clearly see that price is still pushing to is price is still tempting to move to the upside, and with price tempting to push to the upside, if we break above our resistance, we continue bullish. If we fall to break, we turn and we'll be bearish, and that will be it. Right? Looking at US thirty. US daily has to be um US daily has to be um um a tradable pay for this coming week because you can clearly see that one price broke above our highs, right? For getting this resistance that we had, price had previous highs. When I zoom in, when I zoom in off of this chart, you can clearly understand what I'm talking about. Price had highs that it broke above, right? So with now price breaking above this highs, all I'm now looking at is that price at a push phase and kind of like correcting in a form of what price creating a rising wedge formation. So when I see now my trade idea, I'm looking to continue bullish above higher high. You can clearly see that price is creating higher highs and higher lows. 
higher highs and higher lows. Now, if price breaks above this higher high, then we simply continue to the upside. But if price falls breaking above with bullish depletion and bearish momentum, then we'll simply wait for price to break below our current price lows and look forward for continuation to the downside based on price breaking lows and creating a rising wedge formation and breaking below lows, looking to continue moving to the downside. You can clearly see we bullish above higher high and we bearish at a rising wedge formation and there will be it, right? Looking at um, US ticket. So USD CAD, I also won't say much, but you guys remember that on USD CAD, we did say that we have some sort of what, some sort of support, right? And price broke below for fast support and broke above, right? So from price breaking out and breaking above again, and from price breaking out and breaking above again, right? You can clearly see that price has already reacted off of our support zone. Price has reacted off of our support zone. But now you can clearly see that we have previous highs that price has created with now price creating this resistance and moving to the downside coming back again on our resistance, moving to the downside and spiking resistance for the last time and moving to the downside. Now that we've came back to this intraday resistance or this highs, is price going to break above to continue bullish or are we gonna fall to break and look to be bearish? Based on what, on my trade idea, we continue bullish above highs and be bearish below. If we continue above, then we continue with our what? bullish momentum but if price falls to break then i look to reverse and be bearish and that will be it right looking at tesla so tesla also has to be one of the favorite um favorite pairs that i'll be looking at so vividly this week because one we have our earnings report that way um we have earnings report that we had this week right one with this earnings report, they were kind of positive, but price still moved to the downside, right? So now because we have the support that price has once created, what I'm looking for now in my trade idea is that if it happens that price comes back to my support with a breakout, then I would look to continue moving to the downside. But if price falls to break, then I would look to be bullish based on my trade idea. I'm bearish below support, I'm bullish above. If it fails to break, then I reverse. But if we break out, then I continue moving to the downside and that will be it. Looking at Bitcoin. Bitcoin, I won't chop it up that much or I won't say much because when you guys remember that I've been saying that price is reacting on our resistance and on our support, on our resistance and on our support, on our on our um, resistance and currently on our support. All I'm looking for now for my trade idea, or all I'd be looking for is that if price breaks out, if price breaks this, um, if price breaks out bearish, then I'd look to continue moving to the downside. But if price falls to break, then I'd look for reversal to the upside based on price falling to break above, trading to break below support and trading above. Same thing, I'm looking for a bullish breakout. But if price falls to break, then I'd base it on price falling to break above our resistance and look to be bearish because price is moving sideways. So with price moving sideways, there's nothing that I can say. That's why I stated here, we wait for confirmation either to be bullish or to be bearish, right? Looking at Litcoin, um, Ethereum, even in Ethereum, there's nothing that I can say. I'm also waiting for confirmation, but you guys can clearly see that we have previous highs that price has been reacting from on this previous highs, right? Current market price, we kind of like on this previous highs. Are we going to break out to continue bullish or fall to break to be bearish? But either way, I don't have a trade idea. I'm just waiting for confirmation into what I have to do. Are we going to be bearish or are we going to be bullish and just follow price? And that will be it. Looking at Litecoin because I'm not going to have to let let coin i don't see much i also won't see much but you guys remember that let coin this rectangle that i've marked out it's our major resistance right but if price is trading above resistance then it clearly means we're creating support right so on my trade idea i'm looking to continue i'm looking to be bearish below resistance and be bullish above if it happens that price trades below then i'd look to be bearish but if price continues holding this resistance slash support then i'd look to reverse and move 
move to the upside and that will be it because there's nothing that I can say. Price is holding this resistance above and price is creating support above this major resistance. So I'd look to be bullish, to be bearish, to be bullish. But if price feels breaking, but if price breaks below, then I'd look to be bearish and that will be it. Looking at um our last pay, which is oil. Oil also has to be one of my favorite pairs that I'll be looking at this week because you can clearly see that we are above our, our zone, right? You guys know that above, I'm bullish, below, I'm bearish, right? Now, current price, we're kind of above this zone, but we still have highs. We still have um current market price highs, right? But all I'm focusing on is that long as price is still, is still holding above the zone, and then I'd look to be bullish. But if it happens that price breaks below, then I'd look to be bearish based on price breaking out and breaking back in, looking to be bearish. So on my trade idea, I'm looking to continue bullish long as prices above zone and be bearish below this zone and that will be it you get me people so that's my trade idea i wouldn't be looking for much i would be looking for less is price really going to break out or is price really to going to fail to break and that will be it but either way people don't forget to like and subscribe and share and turn on the notifications so you can get notified every time i upload and to use the links on my description to sign up with the broker that I use quick trade or use the phone number on the description to get a hold of me concerning my trading package or my trading course or anything Forex related. Without further ado, people, I'm out.